Hi Leo, it's L here to do your um, April 2018 general reading. I um, hope that everyone is having a really good start to the season of spring. Uh, spring brings new things, new, just newness. Clear out the old if it doesn't serve you any longer. So we'll start with love and then we'll go into career and finance for Leo. Well, this is a general reading. It, w it won't resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Oh, what else? What else? Um, it's for sun, moon, and rising. Whatever you want it to be. I really don't get into all of that. You know, like, I, I, hey, it's for you. That's what it's for. All right? So let's get into this. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera, but we give the cards a quick shuffle, and then we start. Okay, Queen of Swords, right in the middle. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Typically, this is Gemini, the hangman over the Queen of Swords. Let's see. This could be your energy. This could be someone else you came to the reading for. The world uh, cycle is ending. You've gone as far as you can go in this situation. Um, right. Seven of Cups in the present. You're a little confused. I can see that here. You don't know if you should just cut this out or vice versa. This other person didn't know they should just cut this whole situation, relationship, business, whatever. out. And they're the hangman status waiting for more enlightenment. They're, they're emotionally confused about it. All right, so in the recent past, what do we have? What do we have? The Emperor Taurus or Aries. We've got um someone very much in control, very stoic. Very, the his way or her way is is the way. You know, there's no other way. They've done a lot to become the the emperor. They they've accomplished a lot in life also. All right, going forward, what's the recent, excuse me, what's the near future, near future for the magician? Nice. Some of you could definitely be dealing with the Gemini. If not, this is just your energy going forward. You're able to manifest because the world has all four, four elements here. It's an ending to a certain situation. All right, Leo, I'm back. Um, Right, so going into the near future, you are the magician here. You, you can make your future what you want it to be here. Um, it seems like you guys are on the cusp of something, of um, moving away from something or coming out of stagnation and having a clear and conscious mind, which will also trickle down into your emotions about a certain situation or a certain person. Your power. What's in your power? What do you have power over right now? The high priest is nice. I think you're holding your cards close to your chest. You're holding on to, you know, secret plans. It, it doesn't have to be. When people say secrets, they always think it's malicious. It's, you know, it's it's got a, a negative connotation to a secret. It's a secret. Um, you're just holding on to things. You're also checking in with spirit. You're moving in a way of, um, does this feel right for you? Have I prayed and meditated about it? Whatever it may be. Um, that's really good. That's that's in your power. That's what you're doing right now. Okay. These flipped out, so we'll take them. Uh, external to you is the four pinnacles and the hermit. Could be dealing with uh, a Virgo here. Or once again, uh, someone's holding on and they're protecting themselves too. Could be this air sign. They're protecting their interests. They're trying to hang on to their status. They're going with them to find enlightenment or, or I'm hearing closure about a certain situation. That's external to you. They're, um, this is not a person who is completely with the Four Pentacles concerned about the greater good or the collective. This is a person who's concerned about maintaining themselves and their own status and their own, you know, 
holding on to their own. All right, this flipped out. Hopes and fears, seven of swords. Of course, that's definitely a fear. Um, well, for some of you, it could be a hope. The seven of swords, of course, is the just the the sneak, the liar, the cheat. There's someone's doing something behind your back. They're trying to get away with it. But sometimes the seven of swords is just you know you needed to make a plan of action, and you might need to do this in secret with this with the high priestess here. Uh, you might just need to hold your plans to you. Everyone doesn't need to know about it or vice versa. There's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, behind your back, four pentacles, concerned about self and making a, a plan in regards to uh, a self. You know, they're only concerned about um, how best a situation will um, work out or um uh, pan out for them, how it best benefits them, and they're going to make sure it, it best benefits them. Four of Cups, the outcome. Some of you are not taken to an offer. It could be a legitimate offer that you probably need to take to, or you should, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this could just be, um, an, we'll see what this is, an offer um, extended to you that um, you know, or you're bored in a certain situation, you're, you just, it no longer fulfills you, whatever it is. What is this Four of Cups about? What's the Four of Cups about? Give us some clarity, truth, light, clarity. What's the Four of Pentacles? What's the Four of Cups? Four of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. You're not taking to any offers because you're weighing up a decision. You're weighing up offers. You you might have more than one offer here in the present with the Seven of Cups. You're weighing up what best serves you. I can see that. Okay. What best serves you. It looks like whomever you're dealing with too is also doing the same. They're kind of they they can they're picking up on your energy and they're kind of you know trying to do his best for them as so are you you're weighing up a decision also the two of pentacles could be a business business partnership that's not approved of or, or a love affair um you may be choosing to not be a part of a love affair anymore i pull one more card on the outcome ten of cups right it's a decision or it's a certain situation that involves home life family life uh, a level of of happiness. Your decision. Whatever you choose here, you've already. It's already here. It's already in manifestation mode. You know, because it's two of pinnacles. So it's already happening. You're already in it. You just have to choose to further it. To three of pentacles it to actually partner with it and build it and grow it and uh, whatever it is it surrounds your home could surround a cancer pisces scorpio you could be in relationship or whatever with someone of that sun moon or rising sign cancer pisces scorpio you gotta decide do you really want this bottom of the deck ace of pentacles right because there was a new start new foundational start or there is or there will be but you like I said you don't know what to do about a certain situation uh, you're on the cusp of making a, a real final decision I don't see judgment card here I do see the two of pentacles that's the manifestation we're at the end here um, you know you have to make a decision here this is in love this is our love spread so will relate it to love. You have to make a decision maybe of two people or to leave a family life, to become single or to take something to the next level with the Ace of Pentacles. Decide to become engaged, um, move in together, move home together, buy home together. Do something very big and foundational. All right. So let's move on to career and finance thank you thank 
you, thank you for the messages for Leo. Career and finance messages for Leo. Messages of love and light. Messages to guide, to govern and guide the lives of all Leos who view this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the messages for Leo. True, accurate messages for Leo. All right, here we are. Knight of Pentacles offer coming in. A solid offer. It may have taken some time. It might be here or it might be around the corner. So it's, it's this is the long time coming offer. Seven of Wands. All right, you might be a little defensive toward this offer. You might need to be. You might might need to defend yourself. What I'm hearing, you yeah, defend yourself. But also you need to defend what you bring to the table. Seven of Wands, your energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. The world again in the same spot. There's an ending, guys. There's a major ending here. When you get it in the, in the same spot in two different spreads, this is our career on finance. You've gone as far as you can go in something. You know, like, if you feel like, if you've questioned yourself, like, you know, well, maybe I should stay, or maybe I can just, you know, work it out again. I'm like, no, it's, it's done. You've done, it's done. Like, you can walk out of this. Leave, if you will, or stay. Queen of Swords again. Um... In the present, some of you are cutting out something that no longer serves you. The Queen of Swords just doesn't deal with BS. She's quick to use that sword of truth. She gives her truth, her words, and you're gone. Poof, gone. You know, very intellectual, good communicator, good with words. Cuts people out, not by being, you know, shady and conniving or anything of that nature, but by... Um, Using her words, her logic, and her truths, and she's fair. She's fair like her like her husband, the King of Swords. She isn't a true seeker. She's a true holder, though. The King of Swords is the true seeker. She's the truth holder. She holds that. It's, it's her. It's you know. It's like look, hey. She's been through a lot. She knows a lot. She's been through a lot. She can read you from a mile away. And, and she lets you get close sometimes just to cut you out. Just to show you, hey, I don't play those kind of games. You know? The King of Swords, when you're fraudulent, you can't even get next to him. So that's the difference with the King and the Queen. In the past, the Knight of Cups, someone offering their cup of emotion, but they're offering it away from the reading. Two offers here. One foundational toward the reading, toward the near future. One in the past. Something may have fulfilled you in business and uh, career emotionally. Now you're, you're just more so concerned about how does this best benefit me? How does this, you know, how am I speaking my truth? I need to be the boss over this. Um, wow, yeah. Near future. The lovers. You get a choice to make a head over heart decision, right? I can see that. Head, heart, something solid or something emotional in the near future. Once again, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but definitely Gemini here. All right, uh, but a decision needs to be made. Your power, your power, because there's an ending here. You know, I think you're, you're on the brink of something new, better for you. All right, that fell out. Your power is a nine of swords. So, low energy. Um, health concerns. If not for you, for someone else. Sleepless and restless nights about a certain situation. Negative thoughts. Anxiety. How will this pan out? What should I do? Where do I go? Up, down. Oh, Lord, no. I guess I'll just go back to sleep. You know, that's where you are. 
external to you. The hermit, once again, in the same spot. Guys, like this is a real solid message for you. Go within. You got to figure this out. Hopes and fears. The page of pentacles. Nice. That's a good hope. And you've got the knight of pentacles and the the bases of the reading. The page and the hope and hopes and fears. Nice, nice, nice energy. Uh, you hope to start something new. You hope to to get something off the ground. You might be having to partner with someone or or show yourself approved. Wow, I don't even, I don't even talk like that. So that's definitely for somebody. Show yourself approved. Hmm. Show show that you know like you deserve this. Especially in career and finance, the outcome. The Ace of Pentacles. Nice, guys. Wow, and then you're at the bottom of the deck, the strength card. Yeah, muster up this strength to defend yourself. Um, show yourself approved. Show that you deserve this. Um, you may have to partner with somebody in your near future and make a choice about to do what you love or to do what is stable or, or to kind of marry the two in a sense. Um, you have some anxiety about this because I think you have to stand up for yourself and show yourself approved and be the boss and the the um, the author, writer, co-writer of your own destiny. The outcome is beautiful. I almost I don't really even want to clarify this reading. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, something solid, stable, it's coming to you. It's um it's long lasting. You worked on this. These energies, of course, this is for April, but this could play out up to six months because we get the page, the knight, and then the ace. You guys have really been, you know, kind of pounding it out with something, going forward with something and wanting to see some real traction here. You want to see the manifestation of it. That's great. All right, so we'll pull some advice cards for you all right what you should be focused on in april it looks really good you know love you gotta kind of make a decision i think you guys have already made a decision it's just like you just gotta get unstuck like, you know all right three cards of advice for leo three cards of advice for leo cards of advice from Leo. That's of additional advice from Leo. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages from Leo. Decisions? What? It, oh, Spirit, God is great. I don't know who says he's not, but he's great. Gracefully aging. Nice. Decisions, gracefully aging. You definitely have some decisions to make. Um, but I think you're way past the mental of it. Because we saw the two of Pinnacle. Whatever it is, however it is, it's already here. You just have to choose which way. Which way am I going with this? In relationship or in business? Which way am I going with this? One more. All right. Get some rest. We did see the nine of swords there. Bottom of the deck. Emotions. And I think that's what helps has you held up emotions. So we had that Knight of Cups in the past. Uh, got decisions to make, we saw that. That's pretty self-explanatory in business and in love, career, career business and in love, uh, gracefully aging. This talks about, um, you know, finding new different beauty regimens that work for you, exercise programs, being conscious of your uh your health we did see the nine of swords some of you are worried about health or wondering if you should be worried about health but um gracefully aging we aged up you know not down it's not in reverse so we, we always we the co the collective of people of your human being you're concerned about aging so just want to make sure we're doing that gracefully as as possible and we're, we're completely cognitive of the fact that we are not immortal beings. Not this body, anyway. So. Get some rest, guys.
I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Some of you know you haven't been sleeping or getting partial sleep, get some rest. That's when real insight, download, spiritual awareness comes to you when you get some rest. Gracefully aging and get some rest. You need rest when you age, and I can tell you that. I don't even need a card to tell you that. Anyhow, emotions are emotions are stirred or is still in a certain situation uh, you need to process this process these emotions what are you going to do with it you know acknowledge them and move forward we did have the seven of cups and, and um or you know just acknowledge that you have them and and move forward or acknowledge that you have them and stay in something maybe work on it but you got to make the decision because you got emotions here all right, guys. I hope that this resonated with every Leo who views the video. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. If it did not, check Sun, Moon, Rising, Moon, Rising. Check with another reader. It is quite all right. It is quite all right. Um, if you feel like you want to request a personal reading, you can do so by emailing me at tarotof l at gmail dot com. You can follow me on Insta. Go ask a question or two there. You can, um, sorry guys, um, follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Uh, choose to fund the page. Click the GoFundMe link. Uh, currently, I have a $30, 30-minute 30 special. Take advantage of that, all right? Take care, guys. Until the next time, remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. I'll see you in May or, well, mid-April. All right? Bye.